Well, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, a very warm welcome to our service from Holy Trinity this morning. It's great to be with you. My name's Martin. I'm the vicar here, and we're a Church of England church on the edge of Chichester Diocese in Sussex in England. Uh, A couple of notices as we start this morning. Uh, First of all, just to say, if you're on the church email list, but you haven't had an email from me, do please check your spam folder. Uh, If you use Gmail, check your social folder, your promotions folder. Uh, We've discovered a few people uh, who haven't had a church email for some time. The emails have gone into those folders. They are receiving them, but they just haven't found them. Uh, I send out church emails on a Saturday with information for the Sunday service and on a Wednesday. So if you haven't had an email for a week or two, do please check those folders. Uh, Let me know if you can't find the emails there. You may be aware that the Church of England theme for this year is uh, for Christmas this year is comfort and joy. Realising that 2020 has been a very difficult year for lots of us uh, and we need to know the Lord's comfort, but also recognising that Christmas is a time of great joy when we celebrate that God came to earth to be with us. Uh, And so for our All Age Carol service, we want to pick up on those themes of comfort and joy. And we'd love people to video some short clips of them sharing sharing with us what has brought them comfort or joy this year. doesn't need to be long doesn't need to be profound but if you could record it on your phone or on a camera in as high resolution as possible in uh, landscape mode as you're watching this uh, and then email it to me or send it to me via file sharing. Uh, If you're not quite sure how to do that if you you're um, struggling with the technology do get in touch with us and we'd love to be able to help you if we can. Finally, just picking up on Christmas and Christmas events and social media. Uh, Social media is a great way to communicate with people. Uh, If you don't yet follow us on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or YouTube, then do like us or follow us, depending on what the different platform is. It would be great as well if we could retweet, repost, uh, forward on to WhatsApp groups as appropriate, uh, the things we put on social media. It's a great way to communicate with people who wouldn't usually look at the church website, particularly in the run-up to Christmas uh, about what's happening in church services and also in this time when things change so quickly and we go through so many different uh, regulations and they they come and go and we change tiers and all these sorts of things it's a great way to communicate with people in a timely manner sadly uh, the parish magazine as it was in November can be out of date before it even gets to our letter boxes Uh, we had put in about the Remembrance Sunday act of remembrance and of course uh, with the restrictions which were then brought in between writing the magazine, printing it and delivering it, everything had changed. Well, that's the end of our notices for this morning. In our service today, we're looking at the theme of worship and worshipping God. And so we start our service this morning with words from Psalm 33. Sing joyfully to the Lord, you righteous. It is fitting for the upright to praise him. Let's bow our heads and let's pray. Father, we've come this morning to worship you, to sing your praises. Lord, we ask that you would be with us. Lord, whether we've had good or bad weeks, whether they've been difficult and challenging, or whether they've been relaxing or something in between. Lord, we ask that you would give us joyful hearts as we come to worship you, not because of what we've been through this week, but because of what you have done for us. Come by your Spirit and be with us, we pray. Amen. Well, as usual, we have two versions of our service on our website this morning, a contemporary version and a traditional version. At both services, we're going to start our service by singing to the Lord, praising him joyfully. At our contemporary service, we have the songs Praise is What Rising and Here We Are to Worship. At our traditional service, we have O Worship the King, or, sorry, O Worship the King, All Glorious Above. Let's sing. 